Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I've been letting you know about Microsoft's CEO, Satya Nadella, who has made some interesting comments about the future of Windows and Microsoft's all-in AI approach moving into 2026. And one of the comments he made was, we need to get beyond the arguments of slop versus sophistication, quote unquote. Now, I've posted two videos on Satya Nadella's remarks. I'll leave both linked down below and in the end screen because the one I posted earlier today is that the phrase now called micro slop has started doing the rounds online due to his comments instead of Microsoft micro slop. And in regards to this, and as you can see, FlyOB has released its first app update for the new year, version 2.4, which is the first for 2026. And a lot to do with this update is regarding Microslop, with the developer of FlyOB saying, and I'm quoting from the changelog, agreed, but users still deserve a choice. The AR OOBE control has been refined and is now officially called Slop Pilot, and Slop Pilot isn't anti-AR, it's pro user choice. So if we head to version 2.4, and by the way, I'll leave the download link in the description if you'd like to get your hands on this latest release. If we head into OOBE and we click on AR, you can see Slop Pilot is now ready. Click check to review Windows AR features, and there we go. And just to go through the change log quickly, if you are running the app. This update improves detection of AR related features, slop pilot in brackets, across Windows 11 and adds optional deep cleanup capabilities. Users, the developer says, can now better understand, review and disable AR components they don't want transparently and on their own terms. So basically, the developer of the app is not against AR per se, just that it's pro user choice and I'm very open to that. I do agree with that comment, having choice. And then moving on from the slop pilot, he says that he's improved browser detection in the browser OOBE, updated the extensions engine for better coverage and accuracy, global search functionality, has expanded and been refined across all sections, improved the theme detection in the personalization OOBE, and there's been some under the hood minor core optimizations and internal cleanups. So version 2.4 is the first of the popular Windows 11 bypass app and debloater. So quite a lot happening in Fly OB 2.4 with the main emphasis on the AR related features now referred to as Slop Pilot in wake of Microsoft CEO's comments regarding we need to get beyond the arguments of Slop versus sophistication. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.